So how much does that actually seep into the mindset, given it is such a long window you have to wait through before you get another opportunity? Uh, I think I think initially it's it's obviously very tough, but at the same time it, it's still still a privilege to you know to play for your country and and it also gives you that motivation. You know, sport and top sport can be cruel at times, but on the other side, at the end of the spectrum, it's you know you get some massive highs like we just had. Uh, so it, yeah, it it fueled it fueled us for all those as I said in a few interviews after those ugly running sessions that uh, we probably didn't want to do. It kind of gave us that extra motivation to do the hard work, do the hard work, and and make sure we we did the job this time round. Can you talk us through a few of those sessions and and what they actually consisted of? Yeah, well, I, I can remember when we kind of came back from a grip or from the, with a the grip after missing the qualification for Tokyo, we were in the gym for an hour doing a hard, heavy session. And then we were straight out into the cold and running for an hour. And it was, you know, not just the average jog. It was, you know, you're almost throwing up at the end. And uh, we knew it was grim at the time, but we knew it's what we needed. Uh, it was a bit of a, a rebuild with a younger grip as well. And yeah, kind of built the foundations, of course. I think leading into this one.